Roger, the win was secured with a solid second half performance, cut out the errors at half time. Um, was there anything in particular you looked to address at half time? Um, well, not really. I think we, we were happy the way we got off to you know, a great start in the first 10 minutes, um, first 10, 20 minutes, and we got into the lead. And I think after that, we were just guilty of um, sort of straying from our game plan a little bit. Um, I think whenever you come up to a place like this, it's all about doing the basics right because they're, they're a team that will scrap for everything. And once you start firing a few, a few loose passes, about a few offloads here and there, um, you know, and, and they don't go down, they can sort of thrive on that and, and get amongst it. So I think half with that first half, we just went a wee bit wayward, and, and uh, half time was a great opportunity to sort of chat about that and, and um, just tighten things up a bit. Patience, I think, was the key really in the second half. There's a few recurring themes throughout the game. Uh, obviously, the Saints set piece, as always, on song. Um, yeah. You were managing to disrupt their line out ball as well. Was that was that the platform for the success? I think so, yeah. I think we're, um, we chatted a bit you know, during the week. Our, our forward um, displays, particularly maybe the, the scrum, hadn't been quite as dominant as we're used to you know, the past couple of seasons. So um, we, we talked about that and you know, did quite a bit of training and a few different things during the week. And um, yeah, we're very happy with how we uh, dominated Newcastle Pack throughout the game. That set you know, good foundations for the, uh, for the backs to score out wide. Personal note, 100 appearances in Saints Colours for you. Um, when you look back over that time, can you pick out any highlights, anything that you've enjoyed? I've enjoyed all of it to be honest. I think um, just you know winning, even days like this, whenever you come away and, and um, you know you're coming away to difficult places and you're away with all your mates and, and you grab a win and uh, you know you can travel home and have a couple of beers. It's just all all enjoyable. But um, yeah, just just winning is, is, is I don't think anything really has stood out. You know, it was obviously it was, the European campaign last year was fantastic, um, but uh, I've enjoyed all all of it really. And for you, I mean, you had that enforced layoff with the, with the elbow knock. I mean, heading into 2012 now, um, with your fitness, is is that something you're really looking forward to? Good, good time for the Saints to push on. Yeah, yeah. I think I think um, you know, for us, it's crucial now that over this period, you know, the winter months, you know, it's a great opportunity for you to you know come come to places like this and, and, um, and sort of climb up the table a little bit more and, and, and you know. While other teams may be focusing a bit more in Europe, it might be a long shot for us at the minute. You know, it might. Um, sort of leagues more of a thing that we can concentrate a bit more on and um, yeah hopefully 2012 will be going the way we are we have a massive game next week against Quinns where we want to rectify how poorly we played against them last year and maybe put on a similar performance to what we had against Saris a few weeks back